Miss you. Miss you. <laughs> Miss you. Here at the airport again. This time it's almost 10. Going to the gate now. Um, it's a super late night red eye fly to Bulgaria. It's gonna take two and a half hours. So by the time I arrive, it's gonna be 3 a.m. Let's see. A bit uh, exciting. <laughs> Look forward to seeing Ivy soon. This is the new part of Copenhagen Airport, and they have this artist having this uh, blue faces. It's definitely interesting and funny and maybe a little bit creepy. Just arrived now at the Bulgaria airport. Um, it's in Sofia and it's almost 3 a.m. now. So I'm just gonna quickly get a taxi. Hope it's okay. I'm coming. All right. Lots of taxi waiting. So just arrive at Sofia. It's in the middle of the night and it's about 3 a.m. It would take around 18 minutes to arrive at uh, Ivana's place. And then I'm gonna quickly go to bed. That's it for today. And tomorrow we're gonna be out and about in the city. You have a tea. Huh? You have a tea. Tea, tea. Uh, a tea. Uh, yes. You have a tea. Yes. How do you know? <laughs> Taiwan. Tea. Yeah, Taiwan tea. Yes, <laughs> that's correct. Hey, this is joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> Arriving in the middle of the night. It's a nice apartment. When did you move in? Two years ago. Okay. It's okay. Let's go. <laughs> me too. Look at me. Yeah, <laughs> hey, good to see you. I can't believe you're here. Hello. You need to you need to teach me how to say hello in Bulgaria. Zdrave. 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 We're out and about today. Let's see. <laughs> Ivana has the whole plan. I'm very target and result oriented. Target is do as many things as possible. Oh my god. The result is happy I'll be back again. Yeah. Okay, a bit windy. Interesting neighborhood. So you say it's relatively new neighborhood. Right. Yes, they started before the mm -hmm. this is built. Mm -hmm. uh, so really nothing, the occasional double weed. And then uh, several years ago they started building slowly. And now in the last two years there has been a construction peak yeah. in this area and yeah. another neighborhood. Yeah. I can feel like it's, it's relatively new, I can see. Like the buildings and you know the fact that it's building outside. It's actually quite similar to where we live in, in Copenhagen. Yeah. Mm, the same area. Is this surrounded by mountains? Uh, Sofia? Sofia? Yes. Right? Around 10 minutes walk from where Ivana lives, and we're gonna spend the day taking a chill, seeing some sights in Sofia city center. So lucky that it's uh, really good weather. <laughs> Sunny. 
we're at Vitusha. Because I was like, what is Bamo? <laughs> okay. Interesting. I already forgot hello. You need to tell me. Slavic. So a lot of the Slavic words. Slavic. Yeah. They use the Cyrillic alphabet. Yeah. Was the letter of the alphabet to book Kirill's called Kirill. Is this similar to Russian? No. The Russians use our alphabet. Huh. So it's the same? Okay. I see. Yeah. Most people when you say Cyrillic, they think that it's the Russian alphabet. Uh huh. Actually, ours. I see. <laughs> it's important to know that. It's actually theirs. It's ours. <laughs> no matter what everybody says, it's ours. You can quote me on this, yeah? <laughs> This. Getting a ticket. Thank so you. that you have it. Thank you. And this is only single way, one way. One way ticket. <laughs> to where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Is there? Yeah, I'm in. Looks pretty wow. new. Yeah. 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 It's quite well maintained. The first stops were done by the center. This yeah. is the very center. Yeah, interesting. With some of the key places to visit, which we're gonna cover, well, most of them today. Nice. So, we're here at Vitosha, yes. and we're going to. How do you say this then? But it. Nacionalen dvorec na kulturata. But it means National Palace of Culture. Yes. Because it says on the map. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There is a translation for uh, little foreigners. Like <laughs> Just for the little ones. <laughs> so we're here now at the National Palace of Culture station. I feel like the the station are built pretty grand, and they're like new. Huh? Interesting. So, what are we going to see here? The National Palace of Culture. Nice! Surprise! <laughs> oh. So okay. these are very critical to our culture and our way of life. Okay. Not these in particular, but in general, as uh -huh. a category. The most traditional, yeah, and what we usually have is this Godbanita. Uh huh. Godbanita. Yes. I will make. I will make. That. Made. I will make okay. For so tomorrow morning for breakfast. Oh my God. Interesting. So that you try, you want to try traditional stuff, right? Yes. I'm Homemade. Cooking. Homemade. <laughs> nice. So we have the Vitosha mountain. Vitosha, yeah. No wonder. At the backdrop. With snow. Wow. And is this this one is the National Palace of Culture? This building? Yeah. This is the National Palace of Culture. Wow. During Soviet times. Nice. And uh, basically, it's an exhibition yeah. uh, place. It has uh, some of the biggest, until very recently, had the biggest uh, concert hall in the country as well. When I was younger, this was the main shopping street. Uh huh. Uh, and then they, they closed the cars because it was help. They made it pedestrian. <laughs> Okay, this uh, is a monument of one of our most famous altars. Mm -hmm. And here, mm -hmm. it uh, shows the directions to some of the places that he wrote about. I see. corner of tolerance in Sofia so there you can see that's the Catholic Church yeah behind over ah. there is a synagogue this behind is the Orthodox Church yeah and in front of you here is the mosque I see so you have the I big see. religions being together in the four corners basically I see living in peace and I'm 
remember how I told you that it takes a long time to build a metro here? Uh huh. This ah. Is the why. See. So this is the main mosque and across from it is the um, central market which is being renovated. Alright, and what's that yellow building? These are the old baths. Oh. It's like the Budapest bath. Yeah? Yeah, yeah come on. under the roads now in this underground um, the remains of the Roman buildings and then they make it part of the walkway to the city center nice building and the flags flying high okay so Bulgaria has this symbol of the lion and this is one of them musicians would get together here so there is always music from coming from everywhere mm -hmm. people nice. painting doing like fire shows so it's actually quite nice yeah so this is the national theater Private tour. Private tour, very exclusive. <laughs> yes. And it was all made from donations from locals. Okay. It, was, it wasn't like one patron donated or the government donated. Right. It's like crowdfunded. Crowdfunded. It took a long time because they wanted to make it the best architects, the best materials. Right. Oh, 
we're going in. Okay. So we just went in there and they were doing the service. It's pretty interesting. And of course respecting the locals, we didn't take any photos. See the snow at the mountain top, and then the sun is setting. Beautiful. Now we're going into this. Sure. Let's take a look. <laughs> you managed. like sour cabbage mm -hmm. and then we roll it with rice and it starts looking a little bit like this okay and we call that sarmi is it with rice in it these ones i doubt okay but these are ready the leaves are ready so that you to be roll used them yeah, with yeah. rice and herbs and meat interesting and we eat that during the winter mm -hmm. this is called toshia mm -hmm. there are many different types it's a little bit close to like kimchi in terms mm -hmm. of like process and it's also very good for you Oh my god, went a little bit overboard in this section here, which is the namesake um, cosmetic cream um, from this Zoya store. It looks super nice. We're buying these ones and then this face mask. Wow, organic and natural proposition. Super cool. <gasps> Everything is interesting. I am getting this tea. So she said it's local and it's interesting. I'm gonna try this one. And then I'm also getting this um, rose tea. Also local Bulgarian. Wow. This all kind of uh, alternative spreads. And then the different spices and seeds and tea leaves okay pretty cool so if you come you can check it out thank you oh nice so they turn it in Strong. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, 
Okay, so we're in a very traditional restaurant and yes. we're starting with the basics. Uh huh. Okay. So what we have is Shopsko salad. Uh huh. What which is, is it? With local cucumbers, tomatoes, local white brine cheese. Uh huh. Always an olive in the middle nice, and nice. some fresh parsley. Then we move to rakia. Okay. This is Straujoska break rakia. It's a killer, I recommend. And then we go to one of the main breads, which is called porlenka, mm -hmm. which is baked in a huge oven. And this is with cheese, garlic, and chubrica, which Look is nice. a super traditional herb and you eat to die for. Look nice. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. What is this one with? This is with pork meat okay. in a clay pot with herbs and egg and tomatoes and some other vegetables as well. This one is and vegetarian. This is, yeah, this is vegetarian. Nice. This is um, again in a clay pot with a variety of vegetables and it's baked white cheese. Um.